Welcome back to the second half of this training. From what we have left off in the previous demonstrations, this layout can be optimized further. For instance, this identical UV face are a mirror half of the polygon mesh. We could have saved the UV space by flipping and overlapping these selected faces onto its counterpart. Notably, any UV faces that have been flipped will be indicated with different color. The process for overlaying UVs in Maya is quite troublesome if we want to stack it precisely. You can turn the snap to point functions and move the UV points from point to point. To speed things up, you can consider to duplicate its counterparts like what has been demonstrated here. This new layout will be more optimized compared to the previous one, as it gives larger pixel resolutions. Moreover, there are ample of free UV space and it can be used to share with other level objects. Next, we are going to snapshot this UV layout as a raster image and bring it into Adobe Photoshop. Maya will prompt you when you have successfully snapshot your layout. Now let's open the Photoshop applications and drag the raster image into its workspace. First of all, let's remove the unwanted alpha layer via the channels. Next, do you try to follow these steps to set up the basic layering structure that we are going to use for texturing.
Remember to set the blending mode to multiply and then lock the layer. This is a guiding layer. We should not paint on top of it. Now set the background layer to white. Then create a new layer, name it as color map. Here it shall be the space for any texture painting activities. For quick demonstration purpose, let's give these UV faces some basic color. You can experiment with a paintbrush if you like. Or adding some words as you please. Don't try to pick a font that gives you the technological feel. Once you are done, let's try to save this image and bring it back to Maya. In Maya, Let's try to clear this nested history first, then we shall assign a whole new blind shader for it. In the attribute editor, do name the shader. Now, let's try to link the file texture that we have created just now in Photoshop to the color stock of our shader. And instantly, you can see your textures being mapped onto the polygonal object. Do turn on the texture display if the image does not show up in the viewport. You will notice the polygonal faces that have shared UV space will have flip texture on either side. Thus, there is a great importance to plan and think about the texture that you are going to put on before crafting the UV layout. Remember to save your Maya file constantly too. You can always jump back to Photoshop or any other painting program and rework on the texture. Do make sure you are on the right layer Feel free to add on any layers as you see fit. Once you are done, you can simply repeat the saving process and jump back to Maya for reloading the image. The viewport will update the display accordingly. Alright, and here mark the end of this basic workflow demonstration. Do check out the next demonstration for how to create additional textures with Adobe Photoshop. Thank you.